Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the ASCII built-in function in Python 3. Let's take a look at the docs. ASCII takes an object as its argument and returns a string containing a printable version of the object and it'll escape the non-ASCII characters. Looking at the ASCII table, uh, you'll see it contains 128 rows uh, containing some of the most common um, symbols and characters in the American English alphabet. Um, so we have, you know, common common things like the dollar sign, the and sign, brackets, things like that, as well as the letters A to Z in both capital and lowercase. Um, you'll notice that there's no uh, there's no characters with accents. There's no characters from say the Cyrillic alphabet. So it's really just the Latin letters, and that'll play uh, that'll come in handy in a moment. Let's apply the ASCII function uh, to a bunch of the numbers and characters that we saw in the ASCII table. Um, so you'll see that it'll handle numbers, it'll handle strings in an interesting way, wrapping uh, the string kind of in a string. Um, you can apply it on, say, lists and objects as well. And it's just basically always going to wrap, uh, what's it called, wrap the quotations around it and return it as a string. You can even uh, check the type just to see what ASCII is doing and you'll see that it's always turning it into a string. Let's apply the ASCII function on some non-ASCII characters. Uh, so we could take maybe a French word with a, uh, an accent on it. And this is when you're gonna see the ASCII function come to life. You know, adding this XE9 here um, which is the um, basically the hex equivalent of that character. Um, we could also try it with say uh, this is the, the word for Russia in Russian and you'll actually uh, notice that it's encoded slightly differently uh, with U instead of X. The U means it's Unicode where the X is a hex and uh, we can of course do this as a list and do both of them um, so let's see. And uh, one way you'll also see this come to life is with the print function. You, you remember from the docs that it says it returns a printable. Uh, so we can see that it's actually a little cleaner when you do the print. It doesn't have that um, extra uh, group of quotations. So you see the first time we did it, uh, we had the string quotes, the single and the double quotes. Well, here we just have the single and uh, the two slashes became one. Basically, when you print it, it uh, just looks a little cleaner uh, than, when you, than when you execute it normally.